Hey guys, glad to see you again. I'm Yang, and this is my colleague Zhang. Thanks, Yang. Hello, Commander. Our pass has been online for two years now, and we are very excited about celebrating its second anniversary. I believe you guys think the same as we do. Yeah, but before moving on to the second anniversary events, let's take a look at the major changes in Warpath since the day of its global launch. Thank you for your support in the past two years. We will keep creating new gameplay and content to provide you guys with better game experience. Yep. Now, Jan, would you like to talk a little bit about our second anniversary events? Of course. First of all, there will be a lot of free events, such as special ops, alliance quiz, rat package, and so on. Then, every single player will receive his or her yearbook, with all highlights over the past year well recorded. You may also be awarded special anniversary medals for various outstanding performances. Last but not least, to express the gratitude of our dev team to all of our players, this year we decided to give away 100 free universal coupons to everyone who logs in during anniversary events. Hope you guys like it! Wow, I can't wait to play it! By the way, please let me ask one more question on behalf of our players. Sure. What's the plan for Warpath in the future? Good question. So by reading your comments and feedback, we find out that Conquest, Units, and Officers are the top three topics you guys care about most. In terms of Conquest, we will rework the map of Cairo. In detail, we will reduce the overall time of Cairo from 39 days to 26 days. Specifically, you will now be able to meet your opponents starting from day two. Besides, we will remove the mountains and the rivers, blocking the two alliances of each coalition, so that now you can fight back to back with your ally from the very beginning. Finally, we find out that currently, map buildings gives too much advantage to the attackers. So in the future, your enemy will no longer be able to build that map buildings on your territory. In terms of units, we're happy to see more and more infantry already being used in all Conquest battlefields. But on the other hand, the usage rate of anti-tank guns is a bit lower than we expected, considering your feedback that some types of anti-tank guns were actually anti-aircraft guns in history, our next plan is to add the anti-air feature to anti-tank guns. In terms of officers, we are actually introducing more combination strategies in version 7.0 for servers older than 180 days. In detail, for every officer that you are not using anymore, you can now pick one of these three passive skills and give it to any officer that you are using. Of course, there's a limitation here. Each officer can receive at most two passive skills from other officers. So have fun building your strongest officer setup. Wow, that's a lot of stuff. Hope you guys like it. Now let's move on to the Q&A section. We feel the enthusiasm of our players, but due to time constraints, we will only address some of your concerns today. The first question is from Lady Demonus. Why mergers for older servers like server 1 to 3 haven't been done yet after a year? Well, the traditional server merging may cause some of our players unhappy. So we decided to do it in a soft way. That is, we'll make migration between server 1 and server 2 free of charge. The same rule will also apply to server 3 and server 4, server 5 and server 6, server 7 and server 8, and server 9 and server 10. And this change will take effect in version 7.0. General Patton wants to know, will there be an update that will allow for more than 5 ground units and more than 3 air units? Okay, if you mean the 6th barrack or the 4th hangar, Probably not. However, we're working on the super weapon, 
which is a brand new super unit that can be used when attacking enemy villages. So stay tuned. Dreadnought asks, is there a possibility for a one-to-one -one conquest map where two alliances could be placed head-to-head -head without outside interference? Hmm, we probably will stick to the 26-day conquest now, and it will be very difficult to keep the game fun for 26 days if there are only two alliances on the conquest map. So we probably won't do that. But we can make some areas on the map be solo zones, just like Zone 2 in Old Cairo. Devil Dog 313 says, We should be able to relocate our roles when we switch servers, or at least be able to delete the roles in old servers if we want to. Okay, if you need to relocate your current role to another server, you can use either Starter Pass or Migration. In terms of deleting roles, we'll add a function that will allow roles in the level 12 to be deleted in a future update. Approval Play writes to us. I saw the new role map. Again, there is no alliances versus alliances. When will the Ark of Osiris analog event appear in our game? Well, we actually have already started to design this kind of gameplay. But to make sure that it's enjoyable, it will take some time. And we expect to bring it online in the fourth quarter of this year. And the next question is, is the PC version going to be the same thing, just like mobile and emulator? Yes, the PC version will be pretty much the same thing as the mobile version. It's an option for our players. But if you want to play on PC, the PC version should be a better choice than any emulator because first, it will have a much lower crash rate and second, it will also add some native keyboard shortcuts. That's a lot from us today. We always try our best to make sure that your suggestions and concerns are heard by our developers and we are very thankful to receive your suggestions and feedbacks as it means that you guys are actually very passionate about our game. So if you have any suggestions, make sure to join our Discord. And that's it for today's video. It was Jun, here with Yang. I wish you guys are looking forward to our second anniversary events. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.